Hey guys, Kaz here again. This is part two of that um, main haul. So we'll start off with the last of the arrow. And that is a nice little release with a slipcover. The stylist. Uh, this was put in uh, one of the Facebook groups. I can't remember who put it up. No, actually, sorry. But um, I saw this and it looked really good. So looking forward to checking it out. So there's the back there. Let's take this off. So you get the booklet and you get a poster. That's pretty cool. So there's the poster there. Or you can get the artwork that's on the front. And then you get um this there and you get the soundtrack, which is pretty cool. And there's the other artwork. Obviously, that's the normal artwork, but because uh, but that's the artwork that's on there now. So let me put this booklet back. So that is the stylus for Arrow. And next, we got three um, 4Ks. This was in the 3 for 30. I needed two for the Pixar collection. And so I thought I'd grab um, this one. I didn't want to pay like full price for the steelbook because I have heard nothing but bad. I want to check it out and it didn't cost much and it was three for the 30. So I picked up Space Jam A New Legacy. Stick cover. There's the back there. Uh, no artwork on the 4K disc or the Blu ray. So uh, I'm looking forward to checking it out, of course, but, uh, well, again, but I've heard, no, I haven't seen it, I don't know why I said it again, but like I said, I haven't heard much good about it, but I wanted to pick it up, so I thought, why not? And the two, um, I said Pixar, didn't I? There was one Disney Pixar and one just normal Disney. The Pixar one is Monsters, Inc. I absolutely love this, although I do think Monsters University is better. But I did love First Monsters. It comes with a slipcover. Now, all the new Disney and Pixar ones are coming with artwork on the disc, which is great. So there's the 4K and there's the Blu-ray. They also come with, come in with different artwork on each disc, which is even better. And the last normal 4K is one of my favourite Disney movies. And that is Big Hero 6. I absolutely love this movie. It's the cover again. There's the back. And I'm going to move this around so you can actually see. There we go. There's the 4K disc. And there's the Blu-ray disc. Looking forward to checking this out in 4K. I bet it's going to look amazing. But I lo absolutely love this movie. And now I got five uh, 4K steelbooks. So first up, I've got another two for my X-Men collection. We've got the Lenticular Days of Future Past. There's the back there. Let me show you the back of the steelbook. There we go. That's inside. You see different artwork on the discs. I haven't seen that in a while, so I'm going to be checking that out soon. And next one we've got is First Class. I do like the lenticle on this one. There's the back there. Take a look. There we go. And there's the artwork inside. Nothing on the 4K disc. But there we got Professor X and Magneto on the Blu-ray disc. So that is X-Men First Class. And the last three 4K steelbooks are the first Tomb Raider. Absolutely love this style of steelbook. That they look amazing. That's the back there. This is where I uh, this is where I start to have fun. So you've got the Blu-ray disc there. Artwork on there. No artwork on the 4K. Next up, we've got. The Cradle of Life. It's yellow, it's really nice, and the blue on the other one. And we go another quote there. And 
know what we got on either disc on this one. And now I got the, I think it's 2017 or 2018? Uh, 2018 Tomb Raider. Uh, I was disappointed, disappointed it didn't come with similar artwork, but it's nice all the same. And that is the Tomb Raider that's based on the 2013 games. So with uh, Elisa Vikander. There you go, there's the back. I do like that on the back. Uh, no artwork on the discs, but you get a nice bit of art on the inside. And last, but definitely not least, I've got this. I've been watching this on eBay for ages, and I finally got around to going to buy it. And then I saw someone who I bought from quite a few times in the past list it on Facebook. And um, it was a couple quid more, but... I knew he would send it quickly, well packaged, and it would be no problem at all. The reason I was amming and ahhing so much on eBay was I was worried that there'd be problems or it wouldn't be packaged well because the Robin Dobbs came wrapped in a black bag. No protection at all, just wrapped in a black bag. So shocked it didn't come damaged. And that is the Black Barons. Annabelle Comes Home. This is, this looks gorgeous i will be doing a complete unboxing of this on my premium collection uh, update so really chuffed to have this finally and that is it guys so that is it for my for part two anyway of my haul uh, i hope you like what i've got and thank you so much for watching take care guys bye